Welcome to Crypt Zone. Hi guys, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon to get notified of any further content and also please support me on Patreon. It's one dollar and uh, this link will be left in the subscription below. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the retro hour or should I maybe call it the retro few minutes because we haven't done an actual hour for a long time but it just sounded like a cool intro anyway so welcome back and for today we are looking at Maximum Carnage a game from Sega Genesis we've looked at some games now from Atari from NES or Nintendo so let's look at Sega for, for today so the game that I'm looking at is a game that I bought with my first uh, apprenticeship salary and it was for the Sega Genesis and uh, the game is called Spider-Man and Venom Maximum Carnage It was released in 1994-09-18 Now let's see what they say, it's an action game, single player and intro Only one maniacal madman can force Spider-Man to unite with his sinister arch-nemesis, Venom, Carnage. His deadly rampage is tearing New York City apart, only while web-slinging maneuvers, crushing combat moves, and superhero allies can save the city from total obliteration. It's maximum mayhem. It's maximum carnage. Paint the town red. That was the intro that was on the box, or on the labels. So, <clears throat> without any further ado, Let's see what the actual game looked like. We're just gonna do like one level, level one. Okay, so let's see what this game looks like. Green Jelly. I wonder what ever happened to that band. Okay, featuring some very interesting superheroes. We've got Cloak. And dagger, so cloak and dagger. Uh, Morbius. Firestar. Captain America. Iron Fist. Deathlock. Shriek. Double Ganger, Demo Goblin, Carrion. Hey, time for some voice acting. Ravencroft, a maximum security institution devoted to the study and incarceration of the criminally insane. I sincerely hope, Officer Resnick that I can somehow return the courtesy you've shown me by slaughtering you quickly and with minimal agony. In your dreams, sicko. You should have listened, guys. I warned you. There really is! A monster hiding within me. Hey Resnick, remember how I said I'd go easy on you? Ah! 
lied! You should never trust a raving lunatic. I am the ultimate insanity. I am carnage! Okay, that's enough playing around. So let's just carry on as normal. <laughs> Come on, fellas, put a little more life into it. I need the practice. Spider-Man and Venom are bound to come after me when they learn of my escape. Unless I play it smart. And go after them. Keep fighting. Make mine... Mayhem. Oh, what kind of nutcase would egg me on? My name's Shriek. Cut me free. I can, can't wait to join you on your slaughter circuit. I knew you'd change my luck, pretty lady. There's a spider in the alley. Let's go squash it. That's my line. I'm supposed to be the monster here. Don't hurt him, he's sort of cute in a sick and deformed sort of way. Oh alright, he can, he can keep you company while I'm attend to some personal business. That's all so frustrating. Every enemy is defeated always seems to return. Am I destined to keep fighting them over and over again? Yeah, that's what you do. You're a superhero, you're supposed to do that. Okay, let's look at the game. It's a basic beat em up game. You've got some blocking, which I never use. I should have used it more in the game. You can swing, beat the shit out of someone. So you can also pull people towards you with your web. And you can throw enemies. Move around. So basically straightforward. All you have to do is just beat the crap out of everyone. I'm very bad at blocking. I never use blocking ever. You can also throw items around. There we go. Use the environment around you a little bit, so the dustbins. I'm sure if there was like a pipe you can pick up, you can probably use a pipe to hit the shit out of them as well. Beat the crap out of the enemy. Come here. Still trying to figure that out. So you can do a roundhouse kick. I kind of forgot all the movements, and all the motions. I don't have a manual with me. Normally, in those days, you got the gaming case with a little manual. It'll show you what buttons to press to actually get some of the moves. It's only with the modern games uh, a few years ago that you got the tutorials in the games, or you got the to learn the moves in the game, like uh, Mortal Kombat and They're Alive and so on. They actually show you the movements in the game, with the tutorial. Yeah, you had a little manual and you had to read through the manual and see what you were supposed to do anyway. And pick up a couple of hearts, so you, they do drop some hearts or some health for you. 
And the thing with these old school games, it was all practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the better you became at it. I also think uh, the change in color wasn't there by accident. It also the, the, I had a difficulty level to the guys. You know, like blue were your pushovers, green were a little bit more difficult. Kick, 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 kick. Should have done a run out there. Should have done it earlier. I'm leaving the newspaper for a specific reason. I'm not throwing anyone at the newspaper yet because there's these two chicks coming and they are actually quite a tough. Take that, baby. I have some news. You know, this is where I would have also was supposed to block. But I am bad when it comes to blocking. I'm one of those guys who charge right in and try and shoot out to the situation or beat myself out of the situation don't really care for blocking only this is block <laughs> and then you get your ass handed to you as you can see you've got three lives you've got uh, oh, now I'm down to life number two once you die, it will be game over, and uh, unless you want to continue, you've got 10 seconds to continue the game, and you can carry on with the level. Oh, you can also wrap people up with your webbing, okay. Kinda missed that one. Uh, she's almost done for. And it's over. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Come back next time for another retro hour. Hopefully the next one will be actually a live stream. Cheers guys. See you next time.